In touch with Western New England, this is TV 22. Now, live 60 minutes of the area's most interesting and reliable news and information. News Center 22. Good evening, I'm Beth Carroll. And I'm Dave Matson. A 15-year-old youth has been charged in connection with the shooting deaths of his mother and grandparents. Now, live, the news leader brings you more of Western Massachusetts' number one hour of news and information, News Center 22 at 6. Good evening once again. I'm Beth Carroll. And I'm Dave Matson. Now live from throughout New England, this is New Center 22 Night Team with Dave Madsen, Beth Carroll, meteorologist Steve Caparizzo, and John Dutzman with sports. Your number one half hour of news and information, New Center 22 at 11. Good evening. After deliberating for some eight hours, a jury in Boston has found former Westfield State College President Francis Pilecki innocent of sexually assaulting a male student. Stop. WWLP TV 22 Springfield. Live from throughout New England, this is New Center 22's Night Team with Dave Madsen, Beth Carroll, meteorologist Steve Caparizzo, and Rich Tedimer with sports. Your number one half hour of news and information, New Center 22 at 11. pictures from inside the Louisiana Superdome, the site of the 1988 Republican National Convention. The GOP platform has been adopted tonight, conservatives and moderates coming together to present a picture of party unity. Hello, I'm Beth Carroll. I'll bring you more convention coverage from New Orleans in just a moment, but first let's check in with Dave. WWLP TV 22 Springfield. Live from Western Massachusetts and New England, your number one half hour of news and information with Barry Krieger and meteorologist John Quill. This is News Center 22 at noon. WWLP TV 22 Springfield. Live from Western Massachusetts and New England, your number one half hour of news and information with Lynn Barry, Bob Rumbold with sports, and Joe Fratamico with the weather. This is News Center 22's night team. Good evening. The ground war in the Persian Gulf is now underway. WWLP TV 22, your 24-hour news station. The most watched news team in the area. Barry Krieger, Brenda Garten, Rich Tetimer with sports, and meteorologist Evan Rubin. Your number one hour of news and information. This is News Center 22 at 5.30. Good evening and welcome to News Center 22. WWLP TV 22, your 24 hour news station. Live, your number one hour of news and information continues with the most watched news team in Western Massachusetts. This is News Center 22 at 6. A portion of the Connecticut Riverbank in Springfield has become an illegal dumping ground, one of many in our area. And on Who's Hiring Tonight, we'll highlight a new concept restaurant that promises to bring more than 150 jobs to Springfield. These stories are coming up. 22, the news leader. Now, live, working for you throughout western Massachusetts, this is 22 News at 11. The jury is still out in the Kristen Gilbert murder case as they weigh the evidence to decide the fate of the former Northampton VA nurse. Good evening and welcome to 22 News at 11. Live from the 22 News Broadcast Center, this is 22 News at 11, the Associated Press News Station of the Year. A woman stands accused of brutally murdering her husband, but is female violence as rare as you might think? Good evening and welcome to 22 News at 11. You're watching 22 News at 11 with Barry Krieger, Chelsea Sobel, Rich Tedimer, and meteorologist Nick Morganelli. Looks like U.S. troops will not be returning home from... Live from the 22 News Broadcast Center, this is 22 News at 5. A possible tornado sweeping across the state of New Hampshire and leaving many with destroyed homes. Live from the 22 News Broadcast Center, this is 22 News at 5.30. The crude facts about crude oil. 
the 22 News Broadcast Center. This is 22 News at 6. We have breaking news, a state of emergency in New Hampshire as a possible tornado touches down in the Granite State. Live from the 22 News Broadcast Center, this is 22 News at 11. Hello and thanks for joining us for 22 News at 11. I'm Julie Tremel. So Live from the 22 News Broadcast Center, this is 22 News at 6 a.m. Good morning, it's Saturday, May 31st. Thank you so much for joining us for 22 News at 6. Live from the 22 News Broadcast Center, this is 22 News at 6. 22 News takes you close to the action as New Hampshire Republicans prepare to make their choice for a presidential candidate on Tuesday. Good evening and welcome to 22 News at 6. I'm Heidi Voigt. And now, the area's most accurate look at the weather. Here's your 22 News Storm Team forecast. Hey there, 22 News Storm Team meteorologist Brian Lapis. Okay, a few clouds out there. Now on 22 News. More and more senior citizens are becoming dependent and addicted to prescription medications. And an unexpected program helps teach Springfield children to keep their cool in sticky situations. Live from the 22 News Broadcast Center, this is 22 News at 11. We're doing good. Uh, got the air conditioners running and uh, just keep cool. Live from the 22 News Broadcast Center, this is 22 News at noon. Good afternoon and thanks for joining us for 22 News at Noon. I'm Rich Tatterberg. We're following the latest... Live from the 22 News Broadcast Center, this is 22 News at 5. And now, your weather first. Good Tuesday evening. I'm 22 News Storm Team Meteorologist Jennifer Pye. Live from the 22 News Broadcast Center, this is 22 News at 10. There's already so much traffic. Just avoid the area. That's... Get ready for more headaches. A portion of a road already known for traffic problems will soon be closed for construction. We'll get to that story in a moment, but first tonight we are following breaking news from American International. Live from the 22 News Broadcast Center, this is 22 News at 11. This is a 22 News Storm Team weather alert. Powerful, fast-moving storms rolled through western Massachusetts tonight, destroying at least one home in Westfield. Good evening and welcome to 22 News at 11. I'm Barry Krieger. And I'm Juliana Mazza. We are at the end of a 22 News severe weather alert. And now, your weather first. Hi there, 22 News Storm Team Meteorologist Brian Lapis. Some good news. This now on 22 News. The busy holiday air travel season has begun. 22 News explains how you can make your travels as quick and stress-free as possible this year. Plus, important information that will help you prepare your car for the cold winter months. Live from the 22 News Broadcast Center, this is 22 News at 11. It was not crazy at all, but I bet it's going to get busier. It will get busier. 40 million passengers are expected to travel through airports this holiday season. We'll tell you what steps you can take to make your trip through security a little bit faster. Good evening and welcome to 22 News at 11. I'm Barry Krieger. The busy Christmas travel season started today at airports across the country. 22 News, the winner of an unprecedented nine Associated Press Broadcasters Awards, including News Station of the Year.